Now, what would you say if I told you that there was a video editing tool that would allow you to cut down your editing workflows time by a bare minimum 2x, but sometimes even 3, 5 or 10x? What would that be worth to you? We all know that time is one of the most precious resources we have. And as editors or just content creators in general, we all have those dreaded tasks in the process that are very repetitive, very boring, mind numbing, and we don't really enjoy that much, but it's just necessary to get done such as cutting out silences, getting rid of retakes, and just editing all the fluff out. Now with the AI revolution, there has been an amazing tool that's been getting more and more popular every single year called Descript, which allows you to do exactly that. Save time on your workflow and make the whole content creation process a lot more effortless and enjoyable. Descript is basically a new kind of editor that makes editing videos just as simple as editing a document. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick overview of how you can also use these scripts in your own workflow if you want to so that you can save up a lot of your time and not have to do those tasks that you don't enjoy doing anyways so without any further ado let's jump right into my computer now once you have signed up for Descript and you are on the platform the first thing you will need to do is click here on new project you will also be able to see all your previous projects here below now i'm going to choose video project because i want to get a podcast done with uh, this for now so i'm just going to click on that and then after that and once you have opened a new project you can just either you know start writing to give you some ideas and help you come up with a script or you can even just record a brand new video here or upload a file which is what i'm going to do in my case now you can see that my file is loaded up in here and this is a 41 minute recording in 4k actually and basically what this script did is it descripted the entire uh, video so as you can see uh, here it shows how many minutes I'm in and you can see all of the dialogue that we had with my friend Dorrance in this entire video. Now you can see this is a pretty funny and funky podcast setup. We actually shot this in a hot tub uh, and we were talking about all sorts of things uh, from starting out as a video editor to actually being in the creative business, building a creative agency and so on. If you want to edit out any segments with these scripts, and this is one of the main legacy features of it and how a lot of people started using it and liking it. It's as simple as highlighting a section. So for example, let's say I want to get rid of uh, this section here. I'm just going to highlight it, click on delete and boom, just like that. It made a cut in my video and it edited that part out fully accurately. How cool is that? Like you don't even need to really look at the timeline or do any cuts manually. You just select the part you want to get rid of click on delete and boom, it's gone. Now I'm going to redo that right now because I don't actually want to get rid of it. So I'm just going to press command and Z on my keyboard. But as you can see that when you highlight a part, there are a bunch of other things you could do as well. So for example, you could correct it. You could ask Underlord, which is basically these scripts like AI sidekick, which will allow you to do a bunch of cool things, which we'll get into in a second. You can also highlight it with different colors, bold it and kind of edit it like a document, right? You can even add comments to it if you want. So again, this is the whole premise of the script is that you can edit your videos as simply as you could edit a regular Word document by highlighting things. You can also duplicate it, copy it, whatever you want, you can do it, but it also has so much more to offer. And for those extra features, you can use their Underlord AI part, right? So you just go here on the right side and you click on Underlord. And as you can see, they have uh, these different categories of which it, things it can do, right? So for example, it has the sound good part where you can literally click a button and it's going to edit the entire sequence for you and cut out all the filler words, digressions, blather, and basically all the obvious things that you would want to cut out anyways. So let's test that out just to see how, you know, pretty much insane it is. So we have a 41 minute long video in here. I'm just going to click here on edit for clarity. I'm going to submit it and let's see how many things it's going to be cutting out for us. So it got rid of a couple extra, you know, words or things that were really unnecessary and just kind of like fluff. And you can see all the parts that, you know, it did cut out. And if I want to, I can also undo some of these changes. So I don't have to apply necessarily everything. And the point is not even for it to be 100% accurate. The point is that basically this will give you, you know, just a really, really good idea of suggestions to get rid of and then you can approve or disapprove all of them as you wish but it's going to save you a bunch of time right like me manually going through this entire podcast to look for 
parts I could cut out to make the entire podcast flow better and make it more engaging, that would probably take me at least as long as the actual podcast is like, you know, 41 minutes or probably even twice as much. But with this, I could do it in just one click. I can quickly read through it and all the changes that it made. And if I want to apply them, you know, or once I've selected which one of them I want to apply, I just click here on apply edits to script. And as you can see, it's going to go ahead and make these uh, cuts to my actual uh, clips, right? And then boom, just like that, we got rid of six minutes of fluff that was basically, you know, unnecessary in the, in the footage. Going back into the Underlord features, we also have the studio sound, which is a feature that's going to basically remove any background noise and enhance the voices as well. So if you didn't have the best kind of quality when it came to recording or the environment wasn't fully amazing, you literally just click on this. It's going to apply the studio sound to it and just make everything sound a lot clearer, a lot more professional, which in this case, since this video was uh, shot outside and also in a jacuzzi, it will probably help quite a lot. And it's going to also level the audio. So for example, if you shot a podcast, which I know not, you're not only going to do podcasts, but let's say if you did a podcast, right? And there was a difference in the audio levels between the two people, which was actually the case here. I was a lot louder than Dorrance. Uh, then it's going to also not only balance those out, but also just make everything sound a lot clearer, which is very useful. Now, a couple more amazing features here that Underlord can do is to remove uh, filler words, for example. So this will literally just find and highlight all of the filler words that you used in the video. As you can see, I'm not a native speaker and I'm not the best speaker. So I use quite a lot of ums. I means, you knows, us, and so on. So if I want to sound a lot smarter than I actually am, I can come here to all the filler words it detected, which in this case was 375. Just click here on remove all, and it's going to get rid of all the extra filler words and basically also cut down the video by a few more minutes as well. The remove retakes it is not another great feature. So with this one, you know, if you made a lot of mistakes, let's say throughout a recording, you can literally just submit it it's going to go through the entire script, see whenever you repeated some stuff over and over again, and it's going to choose the best version out of those, or at least it will detect, you know, wherever you made those retakes. So you will be able to see them at just a glance and then be able to get rid of the ones that you wanted to. Now, in this one, we actually didn't really have any retakes pretty much uh, because it was more of an interview style, but this can come in definitely super, super handy, especially if you're recording something maybe off of a script and you had to do multiple takes. Now, another fascinating feature that Underlord has is the shorten word gaps feature. So if I click on this, you can see right now it's set to one seconds or more. So it's finding all the gaps in my video that are more than one second long so for example here I have you know all these different ones and you can see the timestamp with it as well so for example here I had 2.9 second one here I have a 4.5 second one and I can shorten them if I want to so for example all these gaps that it found that are over one second long which in this case is 21 gaps I can choose how short I want them to be so I will make them for example 0.2 seconds and then I'm going to click here on shorten all and it's going to shorten now all those 21 word gaps to be just 0.2 seconds long. So again, it's not going to be boring. It's going to flow a lot better and a lot quicker. Now, to be honest, Descript has actually more features than I'm going to be able to cover in this video. But another one that's really cool is the eye contact feature. So this is still technically in beta, but it works really well. This is useful if you are reading, let's say off of a teleprompter or off of a script, and you have to look a little bit on the side. So let's say if I was looking like this right next to the camera, basically what it can do is let's say I was reading this script right now off of a paper or off a teleprompter a little bit, you know, and I wasn't looking directly at the lens. It could actually just use AI to correct that and make it seem like I'm looking exactly at the camera. So it will create eye contact basically with the usage of AI and it will correct the whole footage, make it seem like, you know, I was actually looking at the camera instead of just reading it off of a script, which again, I think is just insane that we can do that nowadays with technology. Just a few years ago, you know, this was pretty much sci-fi or only like top Hollywood studios would do this. And now you can be in your bedroom, just editing a video on your computer in Chrome or whatever browser you're using and do this, which I think is pretty, pretty sick. Now going into some other 
fascinating AI features. One of them is the regenerate and within that the overdub feature. So if you made a mistake, let's say in your video, you can actually regenerate a section of it. Uh, for example, if you said the wrong word somewhere, you can actually replace it with your own AI voice. Now, let me show you how that works. So let's say um, here I was saying, so we are in beautiful Hungary, my home country at Lake Balaton. If I wanted to change Hungary here, to Spain for whatever reason, because let's say that's where we actually were. I'm going to click here on replace, click here on overdub. And now I'm going to change this to Spain. Click on overdub. Now I'm going to have to enable speech generation and you will have to train the actual AI a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is actually record a quick recording here where I will say this uh, text basically. And then after that, it's going to actually have my voice. So it will be able to regenerate that part with my own AI voice. Cool. So I just went ahead, I recorded that part so it could actually, you know, use my voice now and it has the permission to do it as well. And it regenerated this word in here. So if I play this right now, this is how it sounds. Yeah, so we are in beautiful Spain. My is a little bit scary, I'm not going to lie. But for example, this here, if I made a mistake in this podcast, the major one, I could actually not replace it because we no longer have access to this location. I'm in a completely different country right now. So otherwise, you know, if I didn't have this feature, for example, this would be pretty much ruined or I would have to put a text there with the correction or whatever. But with this, I can literally just regenerate that part and make it seem completely natural. Obviously, if you're going to generate super long parts or whatever, it might not feel 100% uh, right. But for smaller parts and for regenerating smaller mistakes, it works just really good. Now you can even divide your entire video up to chapters. So if I want to, I can go ahead, click here on add chapters, uh, number them automatically, and it's going to chapter this entire podcast episode I just edited. So you can see uh, we have all these chapters now, introduction and guest introduction, setting up the scene, my background, first steps in editing. So this is super cool. Like just right now, this made the entire video a lot more or the entire podcast, you know, a lot more digestible, a lot more structured than if we didn't have uh, basically these chapters for it. If I want to, I can also go ahead, click on add to script right now and also even add the timestamps uh, to each one of them. And now they could even be used, you know, as show notes if I wanted to. But yeah, you can see here now we have um, the actual chapters. I can also just click here on the left side on all these different chapters and just it will just skip to whatever part I wanted to skip to. Now, once we are done with all the editing, we got rid of all the parts we didn't need and we are basically ready to go ahead and publish, then it can also help you with some of the more boring things that you might not enjoy as much. So for example, this was a podcast, so I would obviously want to make sure I have show notes for the entire thing and I can tell people what we talk about at each section. So I'm going to click here on show notes and then I'm going to not even give it many instructions right now. I will just let it kind of go and give me whatever it will. And right now it's analyzing all of the stuff and you can see it came up with this entire summary in here. So, um, you know, this was basically an interview with me. So it tells um, people about what this is about. And then also it gave an entire show notes section as well. So it broke it down into all these different features. And uh, you can see here it shows Spain right now because I made that correction. But obviously, um, you know, that wouldn't be the case if I left Hungary in there. Uh, but yeah, so you can see even the early background, first steps in editing, transitioning from freelancing to business, uh, first big client and, and mentorship. All these things we talked about, it actually were able to put it down into chapters. So this is super, super cool. I could just pretty much go ahead, make some small minor adjustments to it and then use this as my show notes. This alone would have taken me, you know, quite a long time because I would have had to re-listen to the whole thing. And even if I did that at 2x speed or whatever, it would have been at least 20 to 30 minutes just there to get these show notes done. Now, if you want to add captions to your video, you can also do that very easily by just clicking here on captions. Uh, you can choose the exact style that you want to use. So for example, let's just use this one, for example, and it's going to apply it now to my entire video, which it might take a few seconds because it's obviously 33 minutes. So quite a lot of words, but yeah, just like that, it was able to add it. I can now obviously go ahead and change the size of this or whatever I want. Let's just make this a lot smaller, for example, like 30. 
Uh, I could change the font as well to a bolder one if I wanted to, whatever it is that I want really. And a new feature that they just came out with recently is the translate captions feature. So if I made this entire interview, let's say in English, but let's just say it was made actually for the Spanish market because my interviewer was a Spanish guy and he wanted to, you know, share it with his audience. Now you can actually click on translate captions and you can choose whatever language it is that you want to use. You can see it has all these different ones. So I'm going to use Spanish for now uh, and it even has a dub speech feature again this still has some uh, limits to it it's not going to be obviously a hundred percent perfect but it will do a pretty damn good job especially considering it's still in beta I will show you a couple examples of it as well right now and and how it kind of sounds but for now I'm not even going to use the dub speech uh, feature but again here's an example of how that would look like sí. Estamos en la hermosa España, mi país natal, en el lago Balaton. Y básicamente estamos grabando un nuevo programa para editores de video. All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to now translate all the captions to Spanish. Click here on submit. As you can see, it's uh, translating now the entire 33 minute sequence. And obviously, I mean, I know I keep bringing up the time savings, but if you actually had to do this manually, you can already see uh, where it's going. It would take a lot of time, but you can see here now we have all the translated captions. And the cool thing is you will be actually able to see them side by side. So if you have, for example, a Spanish native speaker look over this, they are going to be able to make edits and adjustments to it very, very easily because they will see what's on the left side and what was actually said and what it translated it to. And you can make adjustments here by just typing and removing words or adding words, simple as that. Once you are ready with your entire video and you are ready to publish all you have to do is click here on publish and then you are going to uh, be able to choose whether you want to publish it to a website directly or just export it for now i'm just going to export it i will uh, choose the format of it so i want the video i'm going to choose the resolution i want to have 1080p i want to have the maximum highest quality uh, for the audio as well, you can choose all these uh, different more advanced settings. You can choose whether you want to have the metadata or not in it. And then you just click here on export. And then it's just going to go ahead, export your entire video. And after that, you know, you will be able to go ahead, download it, and then just use the full quality recording and footage for whatever it is that you want to use it for. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this video and you found it valuable, you learned a couple of things from it, and thank you to Descript for making this happen. Now, if you want to get started with Descript, all you have to do is go ahead and click the first link in the description, or you can also alternatively scan the QR code that's on the screen right now, and you are going to be able to get started with Descript for free. So, hope you enjoyed again, and I will see you in the next one.